make a habit of two things, to help or at least to do no harm. If someone wishes for good health, one must first ask oneself if he is ready to do away with the reasons for his illness. Only then is it possible to help him. The function of protecting and developing health must rank even above that of restoring it when it is impaired. Illnesses do not come upon us out of the blue. They are developed from small daily sins against nature. When enough sins have accumulated, illnesses will suddenly appear. Our food should be our medicine, and our medicine should be our food. That which is used develops. That which is not used wastes away. The physician must have at his command a certain ready wit, as Dornus is repulsive both to the healthy and the sick. If you are not your own doctor, you are a fool. The soul is the same in all living creatures, although the body of each is different. Let food be thy medicine, and medicine be thy food. Even when all is known, the care of a man is not yet complete. Because eating alone will not keep a man well, he must also take exercise for food and exercise, while possessing opposite qualities, yet work together to produce health. Opposites are cures for opposite Things that are holy are revealed only to men who are holy. Look well to the spine for the cause of disease. Everyone has a doctor in him or her. We just have to help it in its work. The natural healing force within each one of us is the greatest force in getting well. Our food should be our medicine. Our medicine should be our food. But to eat when you are sick is to feed your sickness. Yes, the way to health is to have an aromatic bath and a scented massage every day. I also maintain that clear knowledge of natural science must be acquired in the first instance through mastery of medicine alone. Idleness and lack of occupation tend they are dragged towards evil. Anyone wishing to study medicine must master the art of massage. Of several remedies, the physician should choose the least sensational. An insolent reply from a polite person is a bad sign. The dignity of a physician requires that he should look healthy and as plump as nature intended him to be. For the common crowd, consider those who are not of this excellent bodily condition to be unable to take care of themselves. 